I've been making digital notes for the past two to three years and I recently realized that I may have been wasting my time. Here is why I regret making notes at medical school. Hi guys, my name is Liddy and I'm a UK based medical student. I run this channel with my best friend Hazal and we use this platform to document our journey to becoming doctors while also sharing student tips along the way. If you guys watch my videos then you are very familiar with the fact that I absolutely love note taking. I've been note taking for the past decade in my academic journey but recently I've had a slight change in perspectives and I wanted to share with you guys why I stopped taking notes at medical school. So just a brief introduction into my relationship with note taking. For the past two-ish years at medical school I've been using Notability on my iPad to collate all the information that I'm being taught. It was a convenient way to store all of my notes in such a concise manner and I could back it up to my iCloud. You guys know that every student's worst nightmare is the possibility of losing your notes but in this situation Situation, everything I had to know for my exams was in one succinct place and I'll be honest this really did get me through my first two years of medical school I'm personally quite a visual learner and I think with a degree like medicine where you need to learn about anatomy the human body different systems in the human body I do believe that this iPad slash notability combo was perfect for me so with all this positive note-taking talk thus far you guys are probably wondering what went wrong what realization did I come to that made me absolutely pivot from this normal routine I had for note taking? Well, this method was working until I started third year of medical school as well as the beginning of my clinical year. For those of you who may not be aware, my five years at medical school is essentially split into two parts. The first part is years one to two and this is termed as preclinicals at my medical school and years three to five is known as clinical year. There is quite a significant difference between teaching and learning styles between preclinical years and clinical years. Preclinical years are heavily textbook based and we'd spend most of our time at university on campus learning the theory of everything like the anatomy of the human body and the science behind different systems etc. Whereas with clinical years a majority of my time throughout the academic year is spent on hospital placement, interacting with patients and learning about different conditions as well as how to treat them. So as you can probably tell right now there's a bit of a switch as you progress through medical school on exactly what you need to prioritize in order to pass your medical school exam. First year is essentially understand the content and be great at memorizing facts whereas with third year it's more about practicality being able to diagnose and treat a patient. So what does this mean for me and why is this relevant to note taking? Essentially with the first two years of medical school i.e preclinicals note taking came in super handy because being able to memorize facts and memorize the theory of everything was best done by continuously going through my notes making flashcards all the good stuff that's how I learned it best at the time in clinical years however it's more about taking this previous knowledge and being able to apply it in clinical scenarios and this is best taught and learned with in-person experiences I found that right now the best method for me is doing clinical questions on past med and if I don't understand anything looking at the digital past med textbook or checking out the Oxford clinical handbook or really useful web websites like Zero to Finals or Geeky Medic. With clinical years you are better off learning directly from national guidelines like NICE or BNF or even directly from the NHS website because you are now dealing with real patients and actually practicing how to be a doctor practically rather than just memorizing textbooks and because all of these resources have everything I need and the most up-to-date guidelines and the most up-to-date suggestions on how to treat a condition I kind of don't need to refer to my notes as frequently. Hence why I'm making notes at the beginning of this year, at the beginning of my third year, my, my clinical years, was honestly a huge waste of time for me. Because of my note taking habits from first and second year, when I entered third year medical school, I was like, yes, this is the best way forward. And I made over a hundred different notes on my lectures. And I'm not even lying guys, I haven't even looked back at over half of them because nearly all of the information I need can be found online with more reliable resources. So yeah, I definitely could have survived the entirety of third year 
without actually making these notes to begin with so that's one of the reasons why i definitely do regret making notes at the beginning of third year of medical school because honestly it put such an unnecessary amount of work on my plate at the beginning of the year and it stressed me out so much trying to keep on top of all of the content and just for it to not even be worth it in the end because i ended up not really using it as my main source of revision you know, it's, it's, it's a bit of a waste of time, so I, I do low-key regret it. As I learn these things about my study routine and develop as a student throughout medical school, it's super important for me to document these changes and share it with you guys so that you can make the best judgement for yourself if you choose to alter your study routine and it is something that you want to do. For me, it's kind of like a, you know, mistakes I made so you don't have to kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> you're welcome so yeah guys note taking is no longer effective for me in the long run and it has kind of become a bit counterintuitive for me and my learning going forward these were the main differences that made me come to this conclusion but what does this mean for me and my study routine going forward will i be progressing through my last two years of medical school without making a new set of notes well to answer that question i am very much still a note taking fanatic and if it's suitable for you and it works for you and your revision technique then by all means please do continue what works for me and the difficulties i'm having may not necessarily be the difficulties that you're having so if it works for you keep doing what you're doing if i was to ever redo my preclinical years i would most definitely still take notes like i would repeat the entire thing and still take notes just because it was so useful and helped me learn all the theory that i had to know in relation to the human body and more hence why i would most definitely still recommend the ipad slash notability combo if your degree is heavily theory based rather than practical side note for those of you who are interested in making neat and effective notes on notability using your ipad we do have a skillshare course on exactly how to do this and it can be found in the description box down below but for me going forward unless there's a dramatic change that re-changes my mind I will no longer be making these neat concise notes for the rest of my medical school degree. Guys, don't quote me on that though because my mind is always changing and if I do change my mind, I will remake a video. <laughs> in saying this, a lot of the medical school exam questions that we may get could be related to the lecture content that we're being taught and I also think that lectures are a great way to guide you on potential topics that may come up in exams and potential topics that you may need to learn. Hence why going forward, what I'll probably be doing is downloading the lecture slides and making quick rough annotations onto the slide and guys when i say annotate i mean three to four words here and there maybe a phrase or something useful that the lecture said that might be useful in my revision but it most definitely won't be the in-depth neat notes that i usually make my personal goal for fourth year going forward is in terms of annotating these slides for these annotations to be done during allocated lecture time as the lecturer is teaching rather than blocking out two to three hours of my evening to make neat beautiful in-depth notes which i'll barely look at because most of the information i need to know will probably be learnt using clinical flashcards on resources available or national UK guidelines. If you want to watch further thought-provoking videos on other personal discoveries that I've made during my time as a student, then be sure to check out my video on why I no longer try to ace my exams. Comment down below other videos you want to see from me and don't be afraid to click that like button as well. I really hope that you guys found this video useful and I'll be sure to see you guys for a new video next week. Bye!